all participants of all four countries, Sweden, France, Germany and Belgium, uh, here in order to create. We called it the creation workshop. First day was about sharing and to bring everybody on the same level of knowledge. So each participant was asked to share one experience. But this time we add another element. We invite some architect from Wismar and so we had to share all our idea again and ask him to keep on going with an idea of um, exhibition. Yesterday we went to the König Gallery, uh, Johann König, who is a gallery owner and art dealer who is visually impaired, that someone could sell art uh, and work with artists and uh, organize exhibitions uh, and not seeing the art. So we are about to plan an exhibition. Uh, I thought it was really uh, enriching to talk to him. I was very busy with Marcel Duchamp, who mm -hmm. revolutionized uh, art and art history. And he said, for him, interesting uh, uh, art is post-retina, mm -hmm. so everything after the retina. Mm -hmm. So th it's not about yeah. the visual impulse, more the conceptual one. It's all about for the students to create kind of conceptual ideas and then take the concept um, to a kind of physical object or space. So we're very excited to see what uh, the outcome might be and from then which ideas we can uh, develop further together with the students in order to arrive at the end, which will be uh, uh, an interactive and traveling exhibition, which summarizes all these uh, great experiences of this research project Beyond Seeing. This space is where, the, when you're being reborn into the world, this is the space we're going to live now that's going to be packed with uh, different senses, you're going to be like bombarded by heat and maybe someone can spray water and it's going to be sound and lots of text and everything, so here you're going to be like shouting, and like welcome to the world. Is it for you? As you know, you're blindfolded, you walk around and you think things are bigger than they are, life is bigger or smaller, so what we've now decided to do is create sort of everyday things that you would normally sense but make them in a completely different proportion. And what we're going to do is actually pair each of these giant sculptures with a sense of, for the coffee mug, you'll smell coffee. Uh, there were so many people with so different experiences, with so different points of view, and it's wonderful to see how it comes, uh, finally, it comes to a result. It's, it's so wonderful to, uh, to explore that and to be part of that, it's really amazing.